Hi, I'm Tim and thanks for watching this video. Do you want to know how to set up file sharing on your Ugreen NAS? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up file sharing from your Ugreen NAS so that you can access it from your Windows PCs over your home network. So we'll get right to it now. So as you can see, I've already logged into my Ugreen NAS and it's a DXP4800 Plus model. And to enable file sharing to your Windows PCs, first what you need to do is enable the SMB service on your NAS. So to do this, you need to go into control panel and then this will bring up the control panel window as you'll see here. And what you need to do is select file service. Then in file service, you'll see that you're already in the SMB tab by default. So you'll see that the SMB settings enable SMB service is disabled by default. So you need to enable this. So just tick the box and then in the workgroup name, you can leave that as default, which is workgroup. And then all you need to do is click on apply and it's saying successful here. So that means you've now enabled the SMB service. So you'll see further down, we have how to use. So you'll see we've got Windows Resource File Manager access, enter address, and then forward slash, forward slash, and then the name of your Ugreen NAS. So you'll see next to it, we've got a copy icon. So copy this and you'll see that it's successful. Then what you need to do is minimize the browser window for your Ugreen NAS. And then on your Windows desktop, as you'll see here, you need to open your file explorer and you'll see that I've got various drives and folders here in the file explorer window. So with the three dots icon, select this. Then what you need to do is from the drop down window that appears, select map network drive. Then with the map network drive window, you'll see we've got a drive letter so what you need to do is select a valid drive letter that's not already being used where you want to map the drive letter to for your Ugreen NAS. In this case, it's got by default V. Yours, however, will be probably a different letter. So just select the letter that you want to map the network drive to. Then in the folder box, click in there and then paste in the Ugreen NAS. And then what you need to do you'll see we've got browse button. So click browse and you'll see we've got the DXP4800 plus. So select the little arrow icon, then it will ask you for a username. So what you need to do is type in the username and password that you use as an administrator to access your Ugreen NAS web interface. So with your password and username typed in, you can select remember my credentials then this will save you having to type in your username and password every time you want to access the mapped network drive. Then what you need to do is select OK. And you'll now see that we've got the data folder appeared. So you need to browse to the folder that you want to share and map to. So in this case, we'll select the whole of the data folder and click OK. Then in the map network drive, once we've got the drive selected, we connect at sign on uh, option enabled. You can then click finish. This will then open up the shared folder on your Ugreen NAS. So if you close that window and then hit refresh, you'll now see that we've got drive letter V, which is here. And you'll see that the location is the data folder on DXP4800 plus hyphen A44. So this has now set up a map network drive so to access a drive, all you need to do is double click on it and then you can just save folders and files to that drive. For example, if I go to downloads, copy timeline one, go to the data folder on the DXP and paste the file in there. You'll see that it's now copying the file onto the Ugreen NAS via the shared mapped network drive. And you'll see that's a 1.1 gigabyte file and it was really quick to copy that file across. So that has now saved the file into the Ugreen NAS. So to confirm this, what we can do is open up the NAS control panel window, close this control panel, go into files and then shared folder and then select data. 
and you'll now see that the file is successfully on the Ugreen NAS. So that's copied it via this file explorer window in Windows. So you don't need to access your Ugreen NAS to save files into your Ugreen NAS via the web interface. You can do it instead via a mapped network drive. So that's how easy it is to do that. Set up SMB and create a mapped network drive in Windows. Hope you liked this video. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon with more videos. Take care. Bye for now.